Hello and welcome back to Nerd Doc. In this video, we're going to discuss a new character introduced in the Hawkeye Disney Plus series, Jack Duquesne, also known as Swordsman. While Swordsman does have a history with Clint Barton and the comics, and has worked with Hawkeye on various occasions, his story in the comics has been changed for the MCU. In the comics, Swordsman trained a young Clint Barton, teaching him archery and how to wield a sword. The first time we see Duquesne at the beginning of the Hawkeye series, he is engaged to Eleanor Bishop, the mother of Kate Bishop. He does still have a fondness for swords and is a skilled swordsman, as you might expect given his alias. He doesn't have any powers, similar to Hawkeye and Kate Bishop, but is virtually unmatched with a sword. In the comics, he starts off as a bad guy, which seems to be the case in the Hawkeye series as well. But over time, he changes and eventually becomes a member of the Avengers. Swordsman has a long and complex backstory in the comics that involves falling in love with Scarlet Witch, marrying Mantis from the Guardians of the Galaxy while being possessed by a sentient plant, run-ins with and against the Avengers, and various encounters with Kang and his variants. It's unlikely we'll see much of that comic book history in the MCU version of Swordsman. In fact, it would not be surprising to see him either die during the Hawkeye series, or simply not be seen again once the series comes to an end. He dies a few times in the comics, and his main relevance is training Hawkeye, and the crazy story with Mantis. Hawkeye is clearly already proficient with a sword and a bow, and at this point in the MCU, it seems unlikely Mantis will suddenly start playing a bigger role, although it's not entirely out of the question. I'm certainly grateful to be ugly. We could see Marvel repurpose Swordsman by having him recruited by Val to join the Thunderbolts, or whatever team she's forming, or maybe take part in the Secret Invasion as a scroll. If they make him good, he can potentially become part of a secondary Avengers team like the West Coast Avengers, or possibly assist Kate with the Young Avengers if he remains engaged to her mother. But for now, he's relegated to the Hawkeye series where he may or may not be an antagonist. With the series already featuring Echo, the tracksuit mafia, some version of Clown, and a heavily rumored appearance by Kingpin, it does seem a little odd that Marvel will go out of its way to include yet another bad guy without some additional purpose for him. So it's possible we'll see Swordsman again down the line, depending on how the events of the Hawkeye series unfold. For now, that wraps up this video. Stay tuned to Nerd Doc, as we'll have more on Hawkeye and maybe Swordsman in the future. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with someone who loves Marvel.